the war must continue. I am Mary Ludwig Hayes McCauley. I was born on October 13, 1754 in Trenton, New Jersey. I had an older brother named Johane Martin, and I am also the daughter of a New Jersey dairy farmer. Me and my family moved to Carcel, Pennsylvania, where I met my first husband, a local barber named William Hayes. We later married on July 24, 1764. In 1769, my son, Joe Haynes Hayes, was born. My husband joined the Continental Army. I became a camp follower. At Valley Forge, we helped take care of the soldiers by cooking, cleaning, and doing laundry. I later had a new job, which was being a water pitcher carrier. The water was used to help cool down the cannons that fired at the British. Whenever the men needed the water, they would yell, Molly, pitcher and I would run through the line of fire to give them the water and then run back to refill my pitcher. The men didn't know our real names, so they called Molly to all of us. That's how I became Molly Pitcher. My husband became an artillery man. Their job was to load and fire cannons. One day during the Battle of Monmouth, I was doing my job by carrying my water pitcher when I heard a large crash. I looked over to see my husband motionless on the ground. I knew I had to do what my love would have wanted, so I ran over to his cannon and took his place. I was worried that Commander George Washington wasn't going to be fond of the idea of me fighting, but instead, he privately thanked me to my, for my service, and I got a new nickname, Sergeant Molly. Unfortunately, my husband died of his terrible wound from that day. I thought my life would never be the same. But instead, I married the rudest, most unconsiderate man I had ever met. He left me in 1810, and I never saw him again. Unfortunately, my story ends just like everybody else's does. I died on January 22, 1832. I lived to be 78.